Hey everyone, it's General PDW here today to do my tag from iPokemon Eye. Uh, we were playing this game last year when Dan, Underworld6667, started it. Um, just to tag your it, what you do is you first start off with, hey, uh, here's my seven questions, here's my answers, tag two people. A lot of people tag three, some people, uh, you know, just uh, tag too many people and it gets kind of crazy and nobody knows who's who. So this is my introduction for me. Um, thank you to Siraj for tagging me and thinking of me all the way from the UK. So let's start uh, question number one. What is my real name? Well, if you guys follow me on Facebook, my real name is Paul. Uh, General PDW, the PDW are my initials, Paul David Wimhainer, and you'll see that on Facebook. So you can follow me there. I don't really do Twitter or anything. Uh, who has time with three kids? Um, how did you get into Yu-Gi-Oh? is question number two. Uh, first thing I did when I saw the show was, you know, I was watching Pokemon at the time. I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! My wife and I were kind of checking them out. Liked them. It was cool. Um, I went to Wally World, grabbed a couple starter decks, and I was like, let's figure this out. And when I say figure it out, I mean let's play right this second and not do any of the rules. Don't read anything. So I just kind of jumped in. We didn't know what side decking was, we didn't know what actually, you know, uh, fusion deck was or any of that stuff. So what we did was we just kind of played and then every turn we were allowed to take a card out of our side deck. Uh, you know, hey, whatever. It's kind of go with the flow. Um, and after that I went to a place called Grey Knights. Um, it was around for a few years. I showed up. Uh, there was, I don't know, 30, 40 people so full that I had to sit on the floor of my first duel. Lost to an eight-year-old girl and left. I was like, this is not for me. I, I don't know what I'm doing. So, and of course, I was playing, I think, the Kaiba structure deck. Uh, even though the Yu-Gi-Oh! one was better, I just liked the other blue eyes. So that's how I started getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! And then from there, it just grew. And then I met some friends that uh, were competitive and played with me. You know, we'd go to McDonald's afterwards. We'd play throughout the week, you know. That was before I had uh, more than one kid. Uh, number three, how did you start yu tubing uh, quite a few years later, I'd say like 2011, 12, somewhere in there, I'd say probably 11, um, I met Mike Harris at uh, one of the places that I used to go locally, it's not my locals, but it's a place, another place that used to hold a tournament, showed up and I was uh, grabbing something to eat downstairs at the mall, and he came up to me and introduced himself, because I heard him talking in Yu-Gi-Oh, and I asked him if he needed something specific, particular, and then we started chatting, and then he asked me to go subscribe or, you know, check out his his, uh, his YouTube channel. And I just, the, the concept was foreign. I never heard of yu tubing I never knew that YouTube um, had Yu-Gi-Oh videos on it. I just didn't realize that, it, you know, that we needed that. I just didn't realize it was so important um, to do deck profiles. I was always just building them myself, figuring things out. And uh, from there, I just kind of started doing pack openings, uh, showing a couple decks. Um, I think is when I got excited was uh, Mike kind of hooked me up with like 100 subscribers. He told all his people to come over, check me out. They like the content, you know, whatever. Uh, before that, I just had like gaming stuff from God of War, racing videos from my car club, stuff like that. Um, and then once that happened, he said, you know, why don't you put up a deck profile? And then I put up like Jurax and Aturia, some tier three stuff, you know, stuff that people... Um, kind of fall in love with, but they're frustrated because it doesn't do well. And I started doing well local, so it took off. So that was cool. Um, number four, what is the best time you had at an event? Um, that next year after I met Mike and we started getting a hold of people, and I started getting on YouTube and checking everybody out and figuring out like what was what. Um, I went to that Nationals in Columbus. What was that four years ago? Something like that. And that was easily the most fun I've ever had. Um, you know, we stayed right across the street. Um, it was, uh, you know, I got to hang out with buddies from locals. That was new. Um, with just a whole bunch of people, more than just, just a couple. And then I got to meet, um, so many big YouTubers. You know, I got to meet Mickey and Jarrell and Cordero and Dan and Devin. And we got to go out to eat with uh, Slim. And I mean, I was meeting all these people for the first time. And, and that was the, uh, and, and, um, Darnell, which is, uh, Dub K Dad. And Johnny, which is uh, Agent Persuasion, you know, they live up in uh, Lenexa, which isn't far from where I live in Oklahoma City. So we get to see them quite often uh, until Dub K moved. Anyway, long story short is we uh, got to eat lunch together, got to go to a big dinner, uh, drank, you know, had some fun together. And they're some awesome dudes. I mean, just to get to hang out with them and, and talk with them. Um, 
and realize they're just people. They just want to talk and hang out and drink and eat just like everybody else. Uh, let's see. So that was my most fun. Every night since has been great. Uh, Chicago last year was easily second place just because of the environment. Uh, it's Cordero's home. He knew where to go. You know, he and I have texted a lot and become good friends. And there's nothing better in this game than to uh, to have great friends to play with and to, to talk with and to hang out with. So for me, that's uh, that was the best event. But Chicago was, was right there. Being on the pier every day, beautiful weather, beautiful women, beautiful everything. Um, what's my favorite deck ever? Guys, that is probably the hardest question ever. I'm an, I've always been in love with Light Sworn. Um, but as far as fun and competitive and being unique, for me, being unique is a big part of this game. Um, yes, you probably will see me top with, I press top with Prophecies, I top with... Well, the first time I talked with Girgia, it was Girgia, Karakuri, and Machina. And I was the only one of two people at that locals, or at that regional, excuse me, in Tulsa uh, to play that. And I made top uh, top eight. And then um, recently I played Bujins and got top ten. So I, uh, I know that sounds tier one, which it kind of is. Um, but I had my own spin on each thing. Uh, but my favorite deck ever is level one. I won't call it Piper Chaos because... There's times where I don't play the Chaos Monsters, which sounds crazy, I know. But, because um, I paid Piper Exodia, that's not Chaos. So anything Piper related is shenanigans, creature swaps, so much fun. You know, it just murders uh, Noble Knights, it murders most decks, um, which decks that I love, you know, murders Bujans. Uh, long story short is I really feel like uh, that's a deck that has rolled through, you know, many, many, many formats and done well. It's a... Uh, it's just a blast. So if you've never played it, try to get some Pipers, which they really need to reprint that card. Um, and, and, you know, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And um, Ghost Trick Pipers is what I'm currently working on now. I like that deck. So that's my favorite deck ever, which um, one day before I quit this game, I will show you guys my collection. I don't think there's a good deck, and I have to say good deck, but I don't think there's a good deck I don't have. Um, I just, I play a deck, I either love it or hate it, you know, and I just keep it. So for me, I just, uh, I like to try them all. So if you guys think I don't have a lot of experience or like, oh, but you haven't tried this, I've tried it. Number six, why do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, that's probably the hardest question of them all because, well, second hardest. For me, it's uh, friends, playing with everybody, get to know people, hanging out. Um, I, I have kind of this creative thing where I just want to try everything out. I want to play everything. I think of a combo. I get excited. Um, I can't think straight till I go and, on DN or wherever, Dev Pro, and, and build it. Um, I just have to have that creative uh, juices flowing and, and, and an outlet for that. So for me, that's, you know, I used to be in a car club where I used to, um, you don't get to be that creative, but you get to have a lot of fun, And but that's an expensive, expensive hobby. Um, this is pretty expensive, but it's nowhere near that level, and I can still have a lot of fun, hang out with people, um, do events, go to places, a lot like a car club. Um, and then, you know, my son plays now. He just got top two um, well, at a, at a, in a Dragon Duels at my uh, regionals, at the Tulsa regionals that I went to top ten of Bujans. So I'm excited for him. He got his invite. He got a t-shirt. We're going to try to go to Detroit. I just don't know if that's going to happen for him. Um, talking to his mom into it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's going to be hard. Um, and other than that, you know, just letting him meet new friends and, and learning a game that's great for strategy and thinking and fun and a place to get out of the house and go. And, and I just, I love the game, you know. Uh, there's times where I wish it was uh, a little better. I wish that things would be a little different. But they just, they are what they are and you just have to roll with them. Um, you know, Slim always said you just can't get upset by all the things that happen. You just got to kind of figure it out, roll with it and have fun. Um, I just wish I knew my rulings a little better because sometimes they kind of ruin the game for people. And the last one, what are my two YouTubers um, that I tag? And I already texted them and they both said they would do a video. So I hope you guys will be excited because they are two people that everyone should know on YouTube. And they are Vexicus4666 and Cordero. He promised to make a video soon. He didn't say tonight, but he said he would. And then... Uh, the Kiko 25X, he changed the channel from Kiko 25, that's Mike Harris. So hopefully you guys all know who those two are. 
and I've been very blessed to know them, be friends with them, and uh, hang out with them whenever I could. So thank you guys for watching and enduring the babbling along videos, and uh, click that like button. Thanks guys, and tune in soon for more great content. Bye.